Hey guys, it's the uh, big Captain America Civil War review. Um, it's also Cinco de Mayo, so we have our Mexican <laughs> friend Gabe here. He's, he's joining us. Uh, we all just saw it uh, a couple hours ago, and uh, we're, we're ready to do the review. So, uh, Dan, you want to um, take, take lead here? Overall, I'm going to say right off the bat, it was very, very good. It was very, very good. Very, very Absolutely. good. Absolutely. Yeah. Like, yeah, I think we can all agree on that. Yeah. They incorporated so many characters from the past Marvel movies that it's it was almost like mind blowing because I was like, oh, there's Ant Man and there's it's weird to see all the characters and it fit in so well. Yeah, it really did. Nothing fit. that felt forced. Nothing felt like it was forced at all. Like, uh, what were the main characters that stood out to you guys? Uh, well, it could be a main character or a side character you were. Well, I think we could all say Spider Man. Sp yeah. Spider Man. <laughs> yeah, <of course. laughs> Spider Man. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he was really really cool. Um, he was super young, especially compared to the old yeah. generations. Yeah. Um, which was which was a nice change, I thought. We were talking about that. I don't know how old Toby and they were in their twenties at least. Like in their twenties, <laughs> yeah. I think when they yeah. played Spider Man and they were in high school supposedly in the movies. Yeah. yeah. But this kid, I think he's in his twenties too. He's my he's age. Nineteen. Okay, he's so he's like nineteen, yeah, but he plays younger. So it's yeah. a good. It's a definitely. A, he looks younger. He looks he young, young, he and he looks. sounds young as well. Yeah. yeah. What, do you, what do you think of his like um, chemistry with uh, Tony? Oh, it was it was fantastic. It was uh, you know the, the introduction scene where they. Oh, the like, yeah. first meet was fantastic. Yeah. Um, and really, every, you know, that that set the tone yeah. for their relationship, and it was it was yeah. smooth. I'm definitely, uh, I agree. I de I'm definitely looking forward to Robert Downey Jr. being in the new Spider-Man movie next summer. Yeah. Because, uh, like I said, their chemistry was really good, and that was definitely interesting. Um, any other characters you guys thought stood out? Um, <laughs> Ant-Man? Ant yeah, fantastic. When he turned... It's always funny to me when they show <laughs> Ant Man like running when he's little, because like you yeah. see like he's running, but then but they he's showed moving him, like hardly. Yeah, they backed out, and it was like he was like barely moving. It's it's so, so stupid it's joke, so, but it's, it's so funny. stupid. It's funny, yeah. And um, then when he went what, giant, giant. What are they called? Giant, giant Man. Giant, giant Man. Man. Yeah, yeah. It was just I don't know. It was really cool. It was wild. It was yeah. fantastic, especially because uh, the last Marvel movie before this one was Ant Man. Yeah. So we met him, and we're so used to him being tiny. So <laughs> when he became big you yeah. were like holy the crowd shit. like went crazy yeah. For that. yeah yeah and everybody's reaction like all oh, the character like, the oh, characters yeah. reactions yeah. It was it that was, was really funny awesome. especially Spider-Man yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, anyone else? I really wasn't sure about Scarlet Witch I, I thought she was like a character that I didn't know when you talk about Iron Man Captain America everybody knows them yeah. But like Scarlet Witch, nobody really knows to me who who she is. Mm -hmm. She's really powerful and I didn't She's I wasn't, really I wasn't powerful. expecting that really. yeah. She's super powerful um yeah, they definitely did. They worked on her characterization in this movie. Yeah, she was pretty central. To she was good. I like. I liked what they did with her. Um, I thought everyone fit in pretty well. They all had a nice role. And they all had something that made them unique. Um, some were obviously in it more than others. Yeah. Um, the last character that you can't like not name would be Black Panther. Oh yeah. Definitely. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. He was that. fantastic. I agree. He, that was a good point. Him and Spider Man, the two the two newcomers, they were fantastic. Yeah, it was in, important. In such though. different ways. Yeah, it was important yeah. because they are the two really new ones. Yeah. They had to make a big mark, and I think they definitely did yeah. well in this movie. I think it was cool that to have like a badass like black superhero because mm -hmm. uh, 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 War Machine, War Machine, and Falcon, and Falcon yeah. are. They're not comedic, but they're not like badass. They're more loose yeah. guys, yeah. Black Panther is fucking bad. He's serious. Yeah, yeah he's Panther serious. He went toe to toe with Captain America and he went with everyone. Yeah. yeah. He tried to go toe to toe with fucking Giant Man. Yeah, yeah. God, what a what a badass guy. Yeah, that, yeah, he was really cool. Uh, he's, he's like fantastic. royalty, obviously. Yeah. And, uh, they call him Your Highness. Yeah, and he cool. he had a uh, he. There's just this air about him. He's just very serious, and he he takes care of business, and he he doesn't mess around, which is yeah. cool to see because usually the Marvel characters are really laid back. Yeah. And, and, Kind of goofing around, so he that was that was definitely a cool, cool introduction for him. Um, were there any characters that you either wish they had done something cooler, or you or you just didn't really like them as much as you wish you had? I really want to like Vision, but he seems so powerful. But they play him down. I see what you mean. You know, because like even in the in the big airport battle. He didn't really do anything yeah. significant. Yeah. Well, I, oh, I think you know you're talking about his soul gem, uh, you know, mm -hmm. like when, with Wanda, and uh, he's he kind of seems like he still is unsure of what mm -hmm. it does and what That's it can true. do. Yeah. So I think he kind of you know just yeah. like Wanda is still trying to figure yeah. out. Yeah. He's such a new trying to figure out what what, yeah. what he can do and what he's capable yeah. of. Yeah. Um, I don't like the verse like Batman vs Superman or Civil War like the names because. You knew that Batman and Superman weren't going to kill each other. And you knew these yeah. characters, like when you throw those titles on it, mm -hmm. it was like, oh, this is going to really fracture these groups. Mm -hmm. And I still feel like, even though they weren't, didn't like each other at the end of the movie, mm -hmm. I felt like 
they're still kind of together. I, well, I, well, in I, Civil I War, they definitely feel fractured. Well, yeah. well, I, I, I was thinking that exact same thing when the credits were rolling. Yeah. Um, now they are fractured. There's a big uh, conflict, but even during the battles, they were like, "Oh, you're pulling your punches," and "Oh, you're really, yeah. really gonna hurt yeah. this person." Yeah. And Falcon, um, I don't want to uh, spoil it, but there was a point where he like dodged something and it hurt another character, and he was like, "Oh no!" But he was just battling that character literally 30 seconds before. Yeah. And it looked really cool. And you're like, oh, what can Spider-Man do against Captain America? Yeah. And what can Captain America do against yeah. uh, Scarlet Witch or whatever? It was just cool to see him like fighting, but that didn't feel like there was any real stakes involved. Yeah. I, I, I can see where you're coming from, definitely. Um, there was... Uh, the act, uh, speaking of the action, the airport sequence is obviously <coughs> badass. Yeah, really cool. Yeah. Really, 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 really cool. A really cool sequence. Um, just the action in the film in general, I really liked. I thought... The hand-to-hand -hand combat was really intense, and, and it was brutal. It was definitely, um, it reminded me of Winter Soldier. Yeah, and, and you could tell it was the Russo brothers. Exactly. So, I, it really reminded me of the last Captain America movie. And um, But what did you guys think about any uh, performances from specific actors, actresses? I think Tom Holland Tom was, like, really good. Fantastic. So, what's the guy that plays... Black Panther? Chadwick Boseman. Yeah. He really, really good. He, Chadwick Boseman created his own accent for the role. Is he? And yeah. he, he did research. He created his, like, literally his own yeah, accent. I like that. It was fantastic. It was, it was it sounded really cool. Yeah. yeah. Tony um, Stark obviously always owns. Yeah. yeah. RDJ. Cool. Yeah. I mean, uh, or not Robert. <laughs> I call Robert him Tony Junior Stark. Has, I think he's Tony Stark. That's a good Robert Downey Yeah. Robert Downey Jr. Yeah. Had, it was definitely... The, the the usual greats were great. Yeah, yeah, like it was probably I mean Chris Evans, but like fantastic. it was probably Robert Downey Jr.'s best performance. Yeah, maybe since yeah, maybe since the first, the first Iron Man. There was there was a lot of emotional depth <laughs> yeah. behind it. Yeah, there yeah. was a lot of there was a lot of layers. Because in the first Iron Man, he was really selling that he is Tony Stark. Yeah. You know, he had established that, and since then he's you know you just think of him as Tony Stark. But in this one, you saw, saw like a little bit of a different side of him, more mm -hmm. emotional, and so he had a little more. It was it was it was a good pickup for where his emotional state left off after Ultron. You could tell yeah, where he was sure. originally, mentally after yeah. Ultron. This picked up like yeah, I, I really agree. well. I agree definitely. Um, I wish I could have kept track of all the like little one-liners or like things that were hilarious. The movie all around was pretty dark, you know, pretty serious. You know, there's a lot of emotional turmoil. And then this airport sequence happens for about 15 minutes, and it, it was, was, was non-stop laughing. Yeah. Like, it was yeah. just, like, it and was... Mainly it was because of Spider-Man, though. Yeah. That's how fantastic Yeah, it was. it was just like, yeah, it was just like, it was like a whole different movie all of a sudden. And then, <laughs> and then afterwards, obviously, it gets more serious again, other, other things happen. But I was just like, oh, wow, that was like complete... Obviously, the airport scene was like 15 minutes. Yeah, there's so. no shortage of, like, violence in this movie. In action. Absolutely not. Like, literally, the airport scene, I checked my watch when it started, it was mm -hmm. 15 minutes long. Yeah. 15 minutes of just the superheroes, no storyline. It was just like going out of place. Yeah, and they, it, it didn't feel very long yeah. either. It, no, it not at because all. Because there, so, like, yeah. there was so much like content that was being thrown at you. And it yeah. was, you know, you, you wanted to see, oh, how, you know, how's that battle doing? How's this battle doing? How's yeah, this battle doing? And when they showed it, yeah. you were like, oh, give me that, give me that. Yeah. All right, now, when they lay out the conflict between the two sides, mm -hmm. you really could see the good in each side. Yeah, I, I was I was very torn. I was dead set Team Iron Man going into yeah. it. But like this was this is even mentioned in the trailers like this little clip where mm -hmm. yeah. where Steve is like um you know the Steve's hands are still our own and mm -hmm. I'm like yeah. well that's a pretty good point yeah. <laughs> you know Steve's hands are still their own even though you know of course there's gonna be casualties um you know sometimes and but the Steve's hands are still you know in the in the hands of, of the Avengers yeah. and you you really have to pay attention to how they tell the story to see if you're gonna stay on the side yeah. because at one point I was like oh I went into the movie. Team Iron Man, I like Iron Man better, mm -hmm. even though I didn't really know the story yet. The story came on, and I was like, oh, I kind of agree with Captain America. <laughs> but then how they showed him at the end, I was like, I'm kind of Team Iron Man again. <laughs> so you could really, if you pay attention to the story, everybody's going to have a different opinion of uh, what side you're on. True. But they both represent something good, in my opinion. It's definitely a top-tier Marvel film. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it's. I'm not sure if it's the best one. It's definitely because I mean the first Avenger. Yeah, movie. I mean it's definitely in the yeah, debate. The first like, Iron Man movie, the it's last Captain in, America movie. You, you could argue that it yeah. is. It's definitely up there, yeah, no yeah. doubt. Um, I would say, oh, man, <clears throat> um, I need to see it again, of course. Yeah. But I think it's a solid, solid, solid nine. Okay. For me personally, I I would I definitely have to see it again. It could go up or down, but I think it's very good. Um, great performances. The action is awesome, mm -hmm. um, and I like where wh I like most of the story beats. And I'm very, very interested to see where all the characters go yeah. going forward. Yep. Gabe, what do you think? Um, I actually have to agree. Nine is the number I had in my head, like you mm -hmm. know, for this whole entire time. Mm -hmm. Nine is 
It's nine is a very it's solid very, number very good. It's very yeah. there's no the thing is there's no real <laughs> complaints about it. There's yeah. nothing like that that every single person that who watches this is gonna be like, Oh yeah, I didn't like that. Yeah, I agree. You know what I mean? It's I like definitely agree. it's a personal thing, so there's mm-hmm. no real hard complaints mm-hmm. about it. There's little nitpicky things, but mm-hmm. you know. Yeah, I agree. That's what makes yeah. it a nine. This is a legitimate action movie that anybody can like that likes mm-hmm. that. The cameos by Spider Man and Ant Man were phenomenal. Yeah, like Man's dope. Thing. But because the stakes quite weren't there and there wasn't I thought they could have really used a death. I agree. I'm I gonna give it a nine point five. <laughs> Go see Captain America Civil War. You're gonna love it. And thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, guys.